Hey guys, welcome to BZTV. Have an exciting night to talk about a match play of the century. Ron Converse versus Scott Stokely. What yeah. are you thinking? Oh man, I love it. Uh, it's an Avery Jenkins uh, fundraiser. And I am Team Ron Converse Jr. Team Ron all the way. Matter of fact, if you put those guys side by side, one's a nice guy and one's kind of just in outer space. Yeah, but they're both cool. But I think uh, Ron is like a people person. Scott is a uh, space case, good guy, party guy. I might disagree with you on the people person. I think Scott is a people person, but he's a a different kind of people person. Because he's, if you go to a party, I think Scott's the guy you take. Oh, yeah. If you're hanging out one-on-one or hanging out with some friends, fishing, playing disc golf, Ron, Team Ron all the way. Yeah. And Ron's good. He actually won... Um, World Championships 2016, 2017, and 2019. So we have a three-world championship going head-to-head with Scott Stokely. I don't know how many accolades he has. I mean, he's written a book. He has the longest drive he's, sidearm. He's got some uh, – I mean, I read his book. He's got some uh, pretty big accolades. Uh, but I think Ron is uh, smarter, stronger. Bigger. Bigger, taller. And, he's much taller than Scott Stokely. And you know what? He's even more handsome. He is more handsome. I know Scott doesn't like to hear that because Scott always talks about how good looking he is. And Ron, Ron's always like, no, nah, you know, it's it's not that. But everyone always talks about how good looking Ron is. Yeah, it's true. It's not just good looking like he looks good, but when he throws, he it's just so smooth. Great, great form. He's just a uh, he's all around disc golf guy. Scott's more of a, like a bumbling gorilla when he throws the disc and it's we're gonna see that on the course out there we're gonna see some some chaos we're gonna see some man that's some real disc golf and then we're gonna see some stuff that's not real disc golf i see someone saying nice and someone hitting trees yeah i'm super excited though because really they both have a chance i can make fun of scott stokely all day but he is a good player but um the two are just very different entities different people but they are i mean they kind of don't like each other. So it's going to be kind of fun to watch just to see the intensity. I don't know. I mean, I don't think WWF they'll come to... WWF kind of action. You think they're going to do that on the on the course? I don't know, man. That's why Avery Jenkins is going to be there. He's going to be the one that stop that if it happens because he's a pretty big guy too. He's, oh, not, yeah. he's not as big as Ron Converse because Ron Converse, he's got to be pushing 6'5". He's a big guy. I'm thinking Ron Converse is a giant. He's, he's pretty much a giant. But I think that... Um, He's such a nice guy. He's not going to worry about it. Scott might be picking a fight with him and saying some you know, trash talking to him. I think Ron's going to be staying in the fairway and just kind of doing the work, and things are going to come up on top. I just feel that he's got the uh, – the like the – where you're not really – I'm throwing up. I just feel like it's, he's not really like uh, – Scott. Oh, well, pick it up. See what he's got to say. Oh, that's what I'm yeah, why not? I mean, we're just, maybe you'll. Uh... Hello, scared. Hey, Scott, how's it going, man? Yeah, yeah, we're just. Uh, well, actually, we're shooting right now with the uh, monster. What's that? No, no, no. We're gonna wrap. Once we wrap up, I'll give you a call, and <clears throat> we'll talk about it. But you're you're in Dallas right now, so it's. Yeah, no, it's. I hear you, and it's Garen, by the way, not not Gar Garen. Okay. No, I'm, I think that's funny, too. That is that is funny. <laughs> um, he wa- Hold on a second. He wants to... Hey, hang on. I'm talking to, I'm talking to Monster. He wants to patch in and, like... No, nah, man. We'll, uh, we'll play... We'll uh, do a separate thing with him. Um, no, yeah. Yeah, Monster and I, we're, we're just, we're just going to finish this. Let us finish this video, and then we can actually send it to you. We can talk about it. Maybe do a part... He said... Hang on. He said there's a contract that says he can interrupt. Can you can you read the contract? He says on the last page. Uh, Hang on a second. Uh, I hereby acknowledge that BZTV has to take my calls and allow me to break into and interrupt all videos talking about Ron versus Scott regarding match play June six. Hey. Oh, yes. he, he hung up. Patch him in. Oh, yep. Okay. You heard it. He's coming on. Let's, let's Team see what Scott it, all the way. Uh, I'm still going to say. Uh, hey, everyone. Scott Stokely here 
former Guinness Book world record holder for the longest throw of a flying disc backhand, a former world record holder for the longest throw of a flying disc sidearm, a bunch of other titles back before I aged. And uh, I'm here because, hey, hey, what's up, Corinne? Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. What? What's up, Garen? Um, hey, I hope you don't mind me interrupting your show. No, you're good. What? Dude, <laughs> did you seriously wear that shirt? You don't like Scarface? Really? You like Scarface? Oh, okay, man, look, that's I what we're all about, casual, man. But we are in a studio. We're I the mean, Scarface of disc golf. You could try you know, a little, right? A little bit of professionalism. Just do your thing. Yeah. Tell so anyways, them, tell here nor yeah. there. Yeah, you go. Hey, the reason I'm talking to you guys right now is because on June 6th, I have a disc golf match against Ron Converse. Now, I don't know if you know about this guy, Ron Converse, but he won the World Disc Golf Championships in 2016, 2017, and 2019. Go Ron. And because of that, this guy literally thinks he has three world titles. I mean, do the math. This is not making any sense. Anyways, we're going to be up in Pawhuska, Oklahoma at the Lodge. Uh, this match is going to be refereed by 2009 PDJ World Open champion Avery Jenkins. And uh, Super great here's guy. the way this match is going to work. We are going one-on-one, and we're going to allow the millions upon millions of my fans, along with all four of Ron's fans, to wager on the outcome of the match. What you're going to do if you want to bet on the match is you're going to click a link. You'll, you will post a link, right? Yeah, Darren? yeah. Okay, gotcha. let's put it in the bottom. So, uh, Garen's going to post a link on his page. What you do is you go to the it's a GoFundMe page, but it makes it sound like you're donating money. You're not donating money. It's a it's a what bad? It's a wager. But what you're going to do is you're going to choose which one of us is going to win. <laughs> it's me, <laughs> and by how many strokes? And if you choose correctly, you're going to win a bunch of like amazingly cool prizes. In fact, Ron, I've even heard Black Zombie is going to be donating some stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got you. Look at this. We got you. We're going to do some Shot of this guns, stuff. crossbows. He's got it. Chainsaws. For sure. We got you. Okay. That's, well, that's pretty cool, Grant. I, I did Garrett, sorry, I'll, I'll get this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Black Zombies donating stuff. Costaplast, dynamic discs, RPM discs, disc golf over everything. Avery Jenkins. Like a ton of cool prizes are coming in. All you got to do, remember, go to the GoFundMe page. You can pick uh, who's going to win by how many strokes. Or you can make a uh, slightly larger wager and make three picks. Who's going to win by how many strokes? Or you can make even even larger wager and just choose simply who's going to win. And we already sure. covered this earlier. Me. Or you can actually make even a larger wager and just automatically win. Now, the coolest thing about this is that 100% of the money coming in is going to be sent out to families uh, affected financially by COVID-19. Our goal is to raise $20,000. We want to mail out $21,000 checks, and in these times, $1,000 is a game changer. If we can do that for 20 families, we're going to do it. So uh, all the money coming in is going to a good cause, but more important than that, you get to bet on the outcome and win a bunch of cool stuff. Did I mention you're going to get an autographed copy of my autobiography, the best-selling autobiography in the history of disc golf, and actually the, the best golf autobiography ever written by far. Uh, so, click on the GoFundMe link right down. I don't know where Garen, I mean, Garen down on the side I'm so sorry. Somewhere. I don't know where Garen's going to put it, but wherever you put that link, tell everybody to bet. You can win Black Zombie stuff. Black Zombie's awesome. Thank you for the support, Garen. And uh, you can tune in. You can watch live. It's going to be on June 6th. So, are you going to show up there? It's going to cost a little bit of money, but all the money goes to these families. So, I uh, can't wait to see you guys. Uh, you got any final words, like how handsome I am, how smart? How sexy I look in this dynamic discs hat and this this high end Walmart shirt. I was gonna say no, that go uh, I, I was gonna say it. Ron Converse is better looking by far. That's what they're saying. I got a blushing. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you All right, guys. So uh, in tune into head. the yes. match. Uh, most importantly, bet on the match, win cool stuff, and uh, help your families out. Definitely Thanks, help your families out. That's great. I love it. Yeah, that guy's got a lot of energy, man. I mean, he's got something that a lot of people don't like he's like from city to city state to state wrote the book he's got energy of doing just not even just disc golf stuff but just doing things and i can appreciate that yeah i mean and he does teach uh kids all over uh, actually everybody anybody that wants to sign up he uh has disc golf lessons uh 
sign up, get an hour and a half of disc golf lesson, and uh, get to actually learn how to throw the disc the way you should. He's actually a good teacher. I've watched some of his videos, and um, we ought to get some of his videos on here, and we kind of go over them. Because, I mean, it's it's always cool to see how people instruct on how to throw a Frisbee. I was talking to Ron today on the phone, and just talking about the different styles, not just Scott style or Ron style, but the different styles. You may have your own, but sometimes you can learn from people like that when they t they break it down, break down, break down the fundamentals. That's that's pretty much how you learn anything is just getting the step by step, mm -hmm. and actually tells you not to think about some things that you usually do think about. You know, for sure. I really uh, am uh, happy to be a part of this uh, fundraiser. That's yeah, cool. for sure. And you guys make sure you tune in. So that's June sixth. And that's going to be, I'm pretty sure he said it's going to be live. And so we'll get that link for you down in the description. We'll put a link to the fundraiser. So if you want to participate and um, fund that thing and make your bets, then uh, you can do that as well. And tune in live. If you're in that area, it's in Oklahoma. I can't remember the name of the course, but it's in Oklahoma. It's on the GoFundMe page. Put your money in. Pick your person. I, I'm going to personally pick Ron Converse. I think uh, I may say six strokes on his favor. I'm giving him five. I'll take the under. Yeah, so plus or minus. Uh, but uh, this is really an uh, awesome deal. And uh, share this with uh, on your Facebook or Instagram or uh, on add it, put it on your YouTube channel. Yeah, make sure you uh, click subscribe and um, with the BC, the Black Zombie YouTube channel so we can actually keep doing this and do some more cool stuff. We have a lot of good ideas coming out. We're going to do some more filming tomorrow. So look forward to more stuff rolling out. Cheers, guys. BZ Peace. TV. Thank you. Thanks. Right now you're going to edit this part out. You're gonna do that for the rest of the house. We have our crew telling us what to do right now. Yeah. Well, good. Because I need to something. listen to somebody. Yeah. We just had a good laugh. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to the top. All right. You ready? Hey, guys. Okay. I can't do it on <laughs> inhale. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Okay. Zip. This is Action. what happens behind the scenes. <clears throat> Channel your, channel your Walter Cronkite. Are we do not that's like news, right? Yeah, it is. We are doing news right now. That's good. <laughs> Alright, zip it. You're done. And I'm on. Hey guys, welcome to BZTV. We've got some exciting news for you. Match play, Scott Stokely versus Ron Converse. Match play of the century. What do you think? Oh man, it's awesome. Avery Jenkins fundraiser for... Uh, uh, the match play of the session. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's just use the original. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Hey guys, welcome to BZ TV. We've got some exciting news for you. We've got the 